Thanks for being with us on Fox. You're watching the opening day here for the Margaret River Pro. Julian versus Kyle versus Pedersen. Joe Turpel with Potts and John John Florence here for the call. I actually, I like the new format. The new format's um, pretty cool. At first, I was a little nervous of it because it's, it's pretty scary to be one of those guys that go into that round, that round two. Only four guys lose, so yeah, really. <laughs> one of the guy, four guys that lose. <laughs> Trying to avoid the 33rd. We did have a few waves ridden. During the break, this is Pedersen Potts. Yeah, Pedersen uh, found an absolute gem out there. Super light on his feet, couple of nice big turns there, and then right oh. onto the dry dock. But uh, Pedersen, I, I loved his performance on uh, the ways of Karamas there. Had a great hit with Kanobe Igarashi going some big airs, but uh, this way here, yeah, very tricky to surf. So you've got to be light on your feet, really commit to the turn. And then this last section, John, talk to me about this when you, you need to finish your wave off and you're right on the dry reef. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, when it's small like this, that section comes real close into the dry reef. So there's not, like, when it's bigger, you have a little bit of time to kind of navigate the landing of it. Doesn't win as much as we maybe think he should. Super clean, off the bottom, off the top. Went all the way to the finals here a few years ago against Seabass and then lost it right at the end. But what do you think of Julian surfing, John? Um, you know, the fact that J Julian did exactly what he needed to do in that event and um, Gabe was just a little bit ahead of the points. But it's, it's so fun to watch. I think that's why we all love sports. Kaiwa Belly up and riding. Throwing down that wrapping turn and jamming the oncoming section. A nice little combination of maneuvers for Kaiwa Belly to get on the board, who suffered an injury here last year, which put him in a tough spot to come back to the tour. But looks like he's worked hard to get back to 100%, and I feel like he's just really enjoying the moment and staying really present this year on tour, Pots. To be on the good the good set waves and and then really capitalize. But I love the way he surfs, real strong off the bottom, off the top combo. Uh, and he's got the air game as well, but we don't see a lot of it. Priorities with Pedersen Crisanto. The wind backing off, looking nice and groomed now, and Pedersen's off the bottom. Nice clean connection vertically off the top. Setup work just to attack the lip line again. Will keep his board above. We've seen a lot of Pedersen over the years. Yeah, I have seen a lot of Pedersen over the years. He's um, he's such a good surfer. I think uh, when we were when I was growing up, there was definitely a few QSs that we were in together and some junior events and stuff. And in front of the rocks, there's a deeper bottom oh. turn for Wilson, but he can't hang on up the top. Wow. That's probably one of the most frustrating things ever when your back foot slips off. You come off the bottom ready to tear that lip off and all of a sudden oh. your back foot, you lose it. Is Pedersen Crisanto just up and out, still holding his lead out front with 12.45 to go. Wilson eating a 6-0, 6-0 for first and Kyle trying to avoid the elimination round. Is he the funny one out of the family? He's, he's definitely the funny one. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Always cracking yeah. jokes and having a blast and absolutely ripping, winning the Cape Fear event as we look at a quick snap off the top for Kiowa Belly, the former World Junior Champ. Solid wrapping cutback. Jams it off the top and just flowing down the line, looking so comfortable. Getting some good boards from Darren Hanley. And spending a lot of time in the shaping or keep that board out of the water. And we'll see how Wilson's going to perform here. Looking at better at 377. Wilson on the windup. Another slip off the tail pad. And for that to happen twice, you got to think something's going on on the tail of that board. 22 on the clock, Patterson leading. Wilson trying to recover from another slip off the tail. And he'll float this section. Hard off the bottom, there's the vertical. Attacking that lip line and he'll put that one to bed. Nice control of the rail line from Wilson. Coming from behind this one is Patterson. But trying to play catch up to the open face. That belly off the bottom. Clean rail line off the top. Great transition, oh. but can't hang on to the closeout maneuver. John, what about the left out here? Do you ever look at the left? Back to action in the lineup with 7.20 to go. Pedersen Crisanto trying to hold down the lead. Laying down that layback car, but runs out of room. Great run at the world title race. Let's get caught up with some waves here. Pedersen Crisanto on another one, Potts. Yeah, good size wave here for Pedersen. And then goes through that big layback snap, kind of losing a bit, throwing the board a little bit too far away. Exchange continues with Wilson on the next opportunity. 
Julian has dropped down to third, so an important ride to get back into second. Snaps it on that whitewater section. Little setup turn, hoping for a little bit more wave to work with. And a nice little rebound on the backhand before he got to the rocks there. Wilson needing a 5.41 to move back into the top two. Back underneath him, but Julian Wilson, you can feel the sense of urgency down in that hot seat, that third spot right now. Julian trying to get himself back in the mix here. Bit of a slow start to the year, but it is a uh, marathon, as you heard John talk about. A bad result doesn't mean you're out of the race at all. Beautiful bottom turn and straight into this first maneuver. John, what do you think about that turn right there? I think uh, that was a really good turn. That little bump in there is really hard to navigate. It allows for like any kind of surfing you kind of can imagine. Someone could take off and do a backflip and get barreled. You know, it's, it is possible. And um, so it allows for that. I think it's really cool. Rolling in now with Pedersen Crisanto. Hard off the bottom and setting up a solid cut back into the pocket. Looking for a big way to finish. Tail high reverse attempt incomplete for Pedersen. Famous for doing some crazy airs when he was just a little kid and getting wild cards into the CT in Rio. No, not an easy score to get, especially with the new scale. But I mean, on a wave like this, if any, with Julian, anything's possible. Hard off the bottom. Clean front side wrap for Wilson. Moving quickly back to the pocket to sneak in the climb. Front side wrap, ditching the fins as he'll just play with this inside corner right above the rocks and stepping off without any water. Wow. He'll check the fins, his board. 225 left. Remember, he needed a 5.41 on that wave. Matic wild card win at this venue over Wilson. Back to Julian's wave. What'd you like about it, John? That first turn was really nice. And then um, this turn right here was cool, how he kind of hooked it in the pocket. I like that. When you can kind of connect with the inside section, it's always nice to finish the wave. Potts, was it enough for you to, to, to turn the heat? I think just, Joe. Um, let's have a look here. The first turn, obviously, you've got to start the wave well. He does that beautiful extension there, driving it all the way around. I, I wasn't quite sure that little kick stall there it kind of wiped off a lot of speed. But it put him in real good position for this next maneuver. So a very well-read wave. It'll be interesting to see. I, I'm trying to uh, flash back on his last ride. Very similar wave, really. Kyle taking this wave. Starts with the climb and quickly moving down the line in a short space. Trying to get two maneuvers, even trying to pull out of the back there. You see all the jerseys out there. That's the next heat. Italo, Joan, and Frederico Marias preparing. Kyle's getting into this wave, just needing a 4.10, and that's not going to help him out. Coming back to the venue that gave him a tough injury that sidelined him for most of the year. Still had a 6-1-7 in the seats. Since saving himself on the last wave, and Pedersen, the rookie, getting the win to head into the next round of action. John, thanks so much for joining us. We yep. got to do this more often. Thanks for having me, guys. Best of luck, best of waves for the rest of the event. Thank you. John John Florence moving on into the next one as we continue on with action here at the Margaret River Pro.